Good morning. I'm Blondine Gossol, I'm economic geologist, metallurgist at the French Geological Survey in France, uh, the Bergem, and today I will do a presentation on the overview and reassessment of the lithium sources in Europe based on the Bergem expertise on hard rock and geothermal brines. This presentation will do an overview of several projects conducted by the Bergem in the last five years. And as you can see, several colleagues uh, contributed to this presentation and to this project, so I would like to thank them. I would like also to say that it's the first time that I do a presentation online, so I really hope that it will be fine for you and for me. Before to start, uh, the BRGM expertise, I would like to point out that the BRGM expertise focus along all the lithium value chain uh, from uh, the exploration, the mineral characterization through the geochemistry, lithium isotope uh, analysis and the market and use, as well as the sustainable processing and recycling. Uh, the BRGM is part of several international and national uh, projects uh, such as European uh, research project, but also uh, through uh, private uh, investor projects. So what is lithium? Lithium is a sulfury white alkali metal, which is highly reactive and shows an excellent uh, electric electrical conductivity. It is the most important electronegative metal, which uh, make it an excellent candidate for the electromobility and green technologies, such as batteries, lion batteries, or el energy storage devices. Lithium uses uh, varying very significantly from uh, the 28 to 2019, uh, with uh, total consumption uh, varying between 21,000 tons of lithium metals in 28 to 48,000 tons of lithium metals in 2019, uh, increasing by 130%. This was um, mostly driven by uh, the increase of the rechargeable batteries part, um, which uh, in 28, uh, this segment represented 4,000 4, uh, tons of lithium uh, metals compared to the 26,000 tons of lithium metals uh, in 2019. Those there is several uh, lithium sources uh, in the world. The first one, uh, the, the historical one, is the brines. Uh, they are lithium-rich lacustrine evaporates, uh, relatively recent in close tectonically active basins uh, in arid to hyperarid climates. And the most, the famous one is the lithium triangle in the South America, shared by the uh, Bolivia, Chile, and the Argentina. There is uh, now a second one, which is the hard drug deposits, uh, where lithium rich mineralization is related to magmatic and sedimentary rocks, as well as endogenous and exogenous processes. And there is with the spread varieties of lithium bearing minerals such as spodumene, petalite, lipitolite, zinwaldite, omegonite, etc. And finally, there is the unconventional uh, lithium sources with seawater, uh, which can show lithium content, very low lithium content uh, among 0.15 ppm. The ectorite, which is a lithium rich uh, smectite, and the geothermal brines, uh, where lithium content uh, can be significant. If we look at the lithium content major production, uh, historically, as I mentioned earlier, um, the production was from lit for lithium was uh, from brines. But since the 2016 uh, and the production of the lithium from pegmatite uh, from the Pilbara uh, in Australia, the hard drug, the hard drug, <laughs> the hard drug. Um, uh, sector came the first uh, producer and this has driven uh, most of the uh, inventory in all the countries in Europe, Australia and uh, America as historically we studied the brines and not the hard rock uh, as potential lithium uh, occurrences or deposits. 
So in 2017, regarding this uh, increasing interest for our drug, uh, the BRGM had um, I studied the total of the world total reserves and resources, and uh, I've noticed that the European countries were poorly represented. For the total reserves, representing uh, um, like almost 15 million tons of lithium metals, uh, the only country, the European only European country represented was the Portugal, with less than one percent. For the total reserves, a uh, resource, sorry. Um, the uh, Bolivia, Argentina and Chile were obviously the first identified countries with brines, but Serbia, Czech Republic, representing 3%, were the most important European countries identified, Austria and Finland with less than 1%. In France, uh, for the BRGM, uh, we knew that we had potential of lithium, uh, lithium potential, regarding historical uh, inventory and thus we came to the conclusion that there is an issue on data assessment as most of the national lithium uh, mineral resources assessment and potential by geological surveys were or are not available thus and to illustrate this uh, maps published in research paper um, are, for example Kessler here uh, in the in your right probably on your screen um, there is Portugal, Finland and Jada which were the only one uh, represented and in Bateson uh, paper uh, France with uh, the uh, Beauvoir deposit was represented Jada and Austria uh, pegmatites were also identified however these studies uh, demonstrate that there is no well constrained uh, resources in Europe or at this time, and thus uh, the BRGM had conducted a compilation of the European hydrogen lithium occurrences and deposits based on private uh, investor documents, but also on research uh, scientific uh, publication. So 527 lithium occurrences and deposits have been identified, which was almost five times more than the previous European inventory conducted. Uh, and according to this compilation, two distinct categories of lithium deposits were found. The first one was the magnetic, magmatic, magmatic sorry, related deposits with the granite and pegmatite, basically, and sedimentary hydrothermal related Deposits with quartz, multibrazite, veins, um, grisons, and uh, rocks such as Jada deposits. Based on this compilation, uh, we try to constrain the different occurrences and deposits regarding their corresponding origin. And um, here, an example of the Paleoproteozoic, Neoproteozoic origin is in, uh, in the Scandinavian shield, uh, where the pigmentites are well represented. Uh, lithium is also associated with manganese, iron, sedimentary rocks during the Cambrian Ordovician uh, period. During the Caledonian origin, pigmentite from the island and the Scotland uh, were, have been identified. The very scan origin, which showed the desperate uh, lithium mineralization uh, in from Portugal to uh, France and Germany, have been uh, constrained or more constrained than it was. And the younger um, origins are uh, with the Permian to the Miocene uh, period, with emplacement of the uh, LCT pegmatite and the Jada basin in the Pannonian basin. Based on this uh, assessment, um, we pointed out that most of the lithium, uh, lithium mineralization was related to the Bariscan origin and younger origins, as you can see here in the green part and the yellow part of this map. And 28 deposits have been identified, representing 8 uh, million tons of uh, Li2O, corresponding to 21 million tons of LCE. And again, they are mostly represented in the Variscan and younger origins, 
as you can see with the blue to the red uh, uh, circle. After this project, uh, the BRGM uh, is involved now in the geo Euro European project. And uh, the last year, a publication of the favorability map for lithium mineralization in Europe has been done. Uh, and uh, this map, as you can see, show the very, um, very high lithium favorability related to the very scan origin. Uh, again, and the Alps may be distributed along the Portugal, Spain, France, uh, Austria, Germany. So this is what we have seen for the outdrug. Now, if we look at the lithium resources from geothermal brines, um, the Bergem is part of the European EIT raw material jelly projects project. And uh, the first step of this project, uh, which try to uh, to assess the lithium extraction processes from the lithium brines, was to identify um, several uh, lithium rich geothermal brines in Europe through uh, research uh, scientific papers. And uh, 182 occurrences have been identified, uh, distributed along like eight countries, mainly in France, Germany, UK and Italy. Um, what is really important to keep in mind, uh, either for brines and for our drug deposits in Europe, is not because few areas uh, are not represented that there is no lithium content, it's just because it was not really assessed or evaluated. Uh, in the last decades, nobody were looking for lithium, so um, it's a continuing uh, processes like geologists has to uh, re-evaluate uh, the rocks and uh, the, the geothermal brines to uh, to constrain uh, the lithium resources in Europe. Lithium in this 182 occurrences varies from uh, 15 to 480 milligrams per liter, which is really like a big uh, variation. So we came to several conclusions regarding the several uh, projects. That first one for the hard rock deposits, we need a pre-existing lithium rich source, either um, related to a paleo environmental sedimentary conditions or crustal anomaly. The presence of lithospheric thickening is needed, as well as a regional or local extensional regime, uh, may, mostly during a post-collisional uh, sitting, collision sitting or during a back R sitting. Finally, an ex existing of fracture sets acting as channel ways is also needed uh, for magma of fluid circulations. During the inventory, we came to the conclusion that there is uh, lithium uh, occurrences and resources in Europe with 527 occurrences and 27 deposits. Various lithium bearing minerals were identified and um, the corresponding origins were, have been assessed. Lithium isotope geochemistry have been used to constrain the origin of mechanism, uh, endowment mechanism in several uh, French, uh, French deposits. And this is an expertise of the BRGM that we can develop uh, elsewhere. And for the geothermal brine deposits, uh, there is 182 occurrences with uh, lithium above uh, 15 milligrams per liter. So the take home message is that uh, there is lithium in Europe. We have identified what was uh, already identified in published pub in uh, scientific publications. But however, we are pretty sure that uh, the this number of I identify deposits and occurrences will increase significantly in the coming years as people are looking for lithium and lithium is necessary for most of the uh, green technologies. So I hope you like this presentation. Thank you for your attention and I will be really happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much. <laughs>